What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Georgia Bassmasters channel. I'm out here filming with Larry. He's going to run me through on how to do some soft plastic molds, how to make some stick baits. This is my first time, other than the practice time, making some stick baits. So we're just gonna be doing a how-to one-on-one make stick bait video for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, leave this video a like, and let's get started. So obviously, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some old plastic, put it right here, melt it down, and what'd you say this was again? Plastisol. Plastic softener? Plastisol. 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 Okay, see, I don't even know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Okay, so what do we do with this? So we're gonna put, you're gonna put a cup, do about a cup and a half of Plastisol in your measuring cup. Okay. Then you're gonna put your measuring cup into the microwave for about three minutes. Cup and a half. Yeah. Doesn't have to be exact, but as close as you can get. We're gonna to try to be exact. It's pretty close. Yep, it's good. And we're gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. So we'll minutes. pull it out at about 30 seconds left so we don't burn it. So this is the same thing we did, but without any color in it. Yep. Okay, so this is just the plastic, no color at all. Yeah. When so, it comes out, it should be somewhat clear. Nah, okay. It's probably not gonna be like crystal clear, but it should be okay. decently clear. And myself, I, I actually like those clear, clear molds. We might have to do another video, you have to come back. I have to come back and, all right guys, if this video gets up to 50 likes, I'm gonna come back out with Larry and do the clear mold with the core shot. So to get this video up to 50 likes, we'll come back out and do a part two. But for right now, I think we're just gonna do like a watermelon, watermelon seed, pumpkin seed. That'll work. Something just. And do watermelon. I got watermelon red somewhere over here. Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin seed. Yeah, so we got green pumpkin right there if you wanna do that. Like Bill Dance said, every color of catch fish as long as it's green pumpkin. There you go. <laughs> so. Then we got some red flakes, some black, silver, so whatever you wanna use, green. I say we do a green pumpkin with red. Red and maybe some silver flakes and we'll be good. Silver, okay. So, have our flakes ready to go. Give you this too. Green pumpkin coloring. Our one fourth tablespoon. Oh, you might want, yeah, you might want one yeah, of these gloves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets a little hot sometimes. After watching you, I'm definitely putting a glove on. Oh yeah, we burn ourselves a lot. Larry Melton's in your channel. Okay, so the mold has been in the microwave for three minutes. So right now, we're going to stir it up, make sure there's no thick spots in it. And there's no clumps, but it's kind of... Still kind of gel. It's a so little bit gel down here, down there in the bottom. One thing that I learned is plastic goes to like a gel phase twice. So probably gonna put it back into the microwave for a few seconds. I just don't want it picking it up, messing up our uh, injections. Yeah. Hey, I'll just grab it. There you go. All right. I'm just gonna put it just on do a minute. Right here. Yep. And then just pull it out at about 30 seconds and check it again. Can you put it in here? Um, okay, so I started off doing about 10 to 15 drops, but just do it until it feels right. That's what I was told. Do it until your color feels like feels like you've had enough. That's 15 drops, what do you think? Yep, you should be good now. Okay. Just, you can add your flake in there. You can stir it in and see what color you got. Make sure your color is good. I'll take this off real quick. Right. If you do like a, one scoop a piece. Um, it doesn't have to be a full scoop. It's just however much you think will be good. Okay, we'll just do a little bit, like okay. half a scoop of silver. Yeah, you can add more if you need. And red is my favorite bait color. So I might just put a little, a little bit more red in it. Still not a full scoop, but a little bit more. We have the red and the silver in there. Put my glove back on, so we're gonna put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds, something like that. Going to stir it. Okay, 
see the green coming out. Think the stuff gives you cancer smell like all the time? Um, I don't think about it. I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stress about it. Have but one of things where they come out like ten years later. Or oh yeah. Like it does. Yeah. I'll start having headaches every day, and then it's like, oh yeah, you have cancer. Great. All right. Got thirty seconds on the clock. Go ahead and start it. All right. So the other thirty seconds is complete. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't have any clumps in it. Stir it up just a little bit more. Is it firm? Or yeah. soft? Oh, it's nice soft, soft now. It's a liquid. Okay. Just stir at the bottom to get your glitter. Make sure you have good okay. glitter or your flake evenly distributed. I see the flakes down there, so I think we're good. Okay. You just go ahead and inject it. All right. So I'm going to take this off. Go ahead, go ahead and get this ready. Try to do this slow this time. Okay. Stick it down in there and slowly push down. Steady rate. Yeah. And it's kind of stopped right there. Yeah, so, so just hold pressure on it, it for cool. five, ten seconds, and then just make sure you top it back off when you pull it off. Cause okay. Yeah, I'll make sure I do that. Should be good. All right, I'm going to squirt a little extra juice in there. I think it's, let's put this to the side. Well, I don't want that leaking yeah, anymore. You can. Let's, let's squirt it back in there. There you go. All right. All right, now we wait. Gonna let that fan cool it off there for a minute. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to separate this. You take your screws off. Man, what am I thinking? Yeah. Okay, see. Newbie. It's all good. See, you should just let me strain and try it. Well, you got it just a little bit harder, dude. Just, <laughs> just tell me I'm weak. I can't do it. Right, yeah, it's hard after about time three or four. There you go. Oh, boy, I have this too. If you want to try that. Okay. Let's see what you got. All right. They're pretty light color, but I like that. Mm -hmm. That's almost like a C. That's almost a clear one. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. The silver, the red flakes coming out are pretty even. So that's a good looking bait. And then now, what do you do? You cut these or you just twist? Uh, you can fold it, fold it like in half. Or take it, fold it in half, kind of like that. So fold the whole thing in half? Yep. Then just grab them and you can pull them all off at the same time, like each stick bait. I'm not just, sure what you mean. Just grab them. Okay. You can just like pull them off, but grab them up towards the top. So pull them all. Yep. No, okay. No. Yeah. That's better. That worked better than twisting them all. Yep. So, bam, was this pack of 10 right here? Pack of 10. All right, that's, that's five, six dollars right there any day of the week. Yeah. First time, I think they it's turned pretty out good pretty good. I've never made that color before. Yeah. You guys leave a comment in the bottom. Let me know what color you guys would name this. And uh, maybe we'll take them out and try fishing with it. But it looks like a pretty good, kind of an off watermelon color to me. Yep. But just a slightly clear. So I like that. We're going to... Oh, another thing I almost forgot to tell you. You need to... Take your oh, yeah, injector yeah. apart because when you try to do it again, it's going to be filled up. There's some special trick to this. And just pull it off. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You can just kind of shoot that. Yep. I there know. you go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now you're good to put it back into the microwave again and do it all over. Put it back. What do you think? Two minutes? Three minutes? Yeah. You. Probably won't even eat. You might be good with one minute. Okay, because we'll the plastic's already hot. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, there's no clumps in it this time. Feels good. Soft. Yeah, I think we got all of it out. Yep. So it should time. be good. So there's one thing that I didn't tell you. 
to make these sink so you don't have to fish them weighted if you want to fish them weightless probably need to add a little bit of salt to it so the salt's down there below your feet and there should be a little measuring cup you don't need a full cup you can feel it like a third of the way i probably won't put it all in there yeah just kind of drizzle it a little bit okay, uh, so, so you're not going to need that much a little bit more touch so we'll just say the first batch was floating there you go that'll be good and the second batch is actually sinking worm. Yep. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and stir that up. I'm sure there's somebody going to comment on the first go around like, you guys forgot the salt. Yeah. But we did it the second time. We're going to say that was intentional. Yeah, we, we meant to do that. I mean, these are still perfectly fine to fish. They'll I mean, sink with people, the hook in them. Some people prefer floating worms. Yep. Yeah. And I actually do, if I'm fishing a Carolina rig, I want my worm to float. Yep. Yeah. On my bait, my weight goes down. All right. So, let's inject your second ones. I'm getting better at this. That one hard. Okay. The stick. I also have some hardener over there for like sometimes the plastic will be soft. Yeah. But I haven't had any problems with that being super soft. So. Okay. There you go. All right. So there goes 20. Should do like sit. a stick bait counter for today. Yeah. See how many we made. 20 stick baits. Yeah. Not, not bad timing. So. It doesn't take too long to make these. No, nope. you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolts off this time instead of trying to power it out. Open it. You can use this if you want to. You just kind of. Oh, man. That's, yeah. that's 100 times better. I feel like you've been holding out on it. Yeah, I always give that to them after they open it one time. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, too. Sometimes the color will change a little bit when you add the salt. Like, they'll get a little bit lighter. I don't think. I don't think it changed too much. Yeah. No, you really can't tell the difference. And there is 10 more, and we have the weighted salted ones and the floaters over there. <laughs> so I probably need to separate these a little bit so I don't get those mixed up. All right, everybody, that is my first time ever making baits. Let me know how I did. I think I did a pretty good job. It wasn't too terrible. Uh, thankful to have Larry here walking me through it and it's a nice little bait mold. I still want y'all to let me know what color you think this is. Maybe just a special Georgia Bassmaster color edition. Yeah, that's Georgia Bassmaster Green. Georgia Bassmaster Green, yeah. I like that. If you guys aren't subscribed to Larry, I will leave his channel in the description below. Make sure you check him out. He does all kind of plastic mold videos, challenge videos. I'm talking about hot chocolate, <laughs> anything from that, from Kool-Aid worms, anything you can think of. He's got it on his channel. So he has some pretty cool content. Make sure you check him out. And until the next time, see you guys later. Peace.